welcome back to my channel. Simply Jessica here today with two very easy peasy Valentine's Day DIYs. We have one that is more gift giving and one that is more Valentine's Day decor. Yeah, that's what we're going to go with. Um, <laughs> so when you guys know that I love these easy peasy DIYs. So we are just going to hop right in. This is the stuff that I showed you yesterday from our Dollar Tree haul. We have our trifle container. We're going to start with that. Just got to try to peel these little buggers off. I am in the living room once again. I did order my ring light. It should be here before 10 p.m. today. So hopefully we get that going. All right. At least I came off with like not too much of an issue at all. And then we're going to be using our scalloped container as well. Just going to yank that sticker off of there. There we go. So I think this is going to be super cute and just so simple to do. Now, you can, I have my hot glue here. Um, I'm not going to hot glue any of this together, to be very honest to you, because you don't need to. Um, you can if you want to, but I'm not going to. You can, we're going to be placing this container inside of this container. So yes, you can hot glue that still if you would like. But to be honest, I am not going to worry about it. I mean, you'll see. Because once you get all your stuff in there, it's not really going to move, I don't think. So we are just going to grab our candies, all those wonderful little snack size candies that we got yesterday and we're going to start with our flat candy bars and those are the Hershey's cookies and cream and the whoops and the Hershey's with almonds and I actually think now that I'm actually kind of sizing this I actually think you may end up needing three packs not just the two, but we're going to work with the two because it's not going to anybody right now anyway. And we're just going to slide those in here. This is just going to be your base and we're going to slide them on in. And I'm just alternating here. As you can see, just going around, alternating the candies. And once you get to the back, it's going to push forward a little bit to make that just even a little bit more stable. So it does look like you're going to need three packs, but space that out a little bit because you want them to go all the way around like that. And that is going to be the base of your gift. Move that over a little bit. I got one falling over. There we go. So that'll be the base of your gift, which is super cute already. You, you do want to get another pack of small ones back there. Then we're going to take our for floral foam. We're just going to open that on up here. Oh, didn't bring my scissors. And this is going to go right in the center of your gift just like that again i'm not super or super glue. i'm not hot gluing this in there you can if you want to but i'm just not going to this is where this beautiful little decor pieces come from i did get all the little red glittery styrofoam hearts there is two packs of them and i also remembered i had a bunch of those red diamond gems the plastic ones from dollar tree I have a bunch of those up there as well. So I think that's what we're going to actually start using here to kind of fill in your, your middle piece here. And this is going to help this floral foam, floral foam stay in place there. So now you have your middle. Nice and sturdy little middle. We have a bunch of red little diamonds down there. And this is where you're going to have fun and you're going to add your other candies in. And we're just going to put a couple 
around here and then we're going to fill it with some hearts and the candy is just the candy is just going to play like this really cute little part here and then we're going to use more gems Probably, if you're going to use the gems, we, you have little hearts, we have some candy popping out everywhere. I would say that's probably about five to six bags of those gems. And we have some more candies, so you can just kind of dig in here, place some more candy in there. And we have candy everywhere. This one here might need a little bit more for this one. Just get that in there so you can really see it. Don't worry about that. So you got all your candy floating in this beautiful thing. And of course, I didn't bring my wire cutters, so I'm going to have to go grab them. So this is where the flowers come into play. So let me just go grab my scissors. All right, got my scissors. Got our flowers, and we have our balloon here. This is where the balloon is going in as well. I'm just going to cut a little bit of this bottom off of there. And this is gonna go right in the center of, I was just turning it around so the barcode wasn't on the outside. We're gonna stick this right in the center like that. We'll have to lift you up here in a minute so you can see better, but we're still gonna work right here. And this is where our gorgeous little flowers are going to come into play and our other little styrofoam hearts. We're just going to cut those. And I'm going to get one little heart on each side here. And we'll get the other one. Ooh, get up there. And we're going to add that on this side. And this is where we're going to play around and add our flowers here. And this is how you're going to end up hiding your floral foam at the top. And we're just going to get some flowers and push them on in there. And just have this gorgeous little piece. I'm going to use some of the bigger roses. And we're just going to push them on in there and decorate the top of this. So, so we had the bigger bundle here of the roses, and then the ones that the hearts came on are a little bit smaller. But since it is Valentine's Day, we are just going to fill this. Let's see some down here. So we're going to stick a couple of these little extra hearts in there. Cover that up. And we're just going to spread the love here with these flowers. And I'm leaving the leaves on there. I think it gives it just a little bit of an extra little kick. I need to turn this just so I can see too. Stick in a couple of these little hearts in there and that's it we're just gonna finish putting our flowers on and this is gonna be pretty much done again don't pay attention to that part <laughs> we need three packs of the skinny of the skinny um candy bows not two we need three okay guys okay and that's it. We're going to use this whole bundle, the smaller ones. Looks like we really don't need any more of the bigger roses. And you could obviously add, like, whoever you're giving this to, their favorite candies. They have all different kind. These are just the ones that I went with. You can add as many or as least as you would like. You don't have to put a lot in there. That's why we have all these beautiful little gems, or you can get more styrofoam hearts. But let's lift up here. Look how cute this came out. I 
love it and it's so easy and so simple and so gorgeous i love the gems you might want to get in there just kind of move some things around when you're doing it make sure you got your candy where you can see and your foam hearts everywhere they're super cute you can see candy all the way down in there but just look how adorable this is i'm gonna lift you up a little bit higher here look at that and it's so easy so affordable and so adorable I think it's gorgeous. I love it. And again, I hope you do too. I hope you're getting a really good look at this. I love this. And it only took a couple of minutes. That's it. So, absolutely perfect gift to give somebody. I love it. Again, I know I just said that. I hope you do too. I'm going to put you on pause. We're going to get our stuff ready for DIY number two. Okay, DIY number two. This is going to be more of a good decoration. We are going to start with the heart floral foam. Floral foam. You see? <laughs> We're going to start with the heart wreath form. And again, guys, you know this is going to be just great. So simple. But it's going to be, in my mind, super elegant. And I hope we love it. So we have our heart. We're going to take our little foam. A foam, I guess, like, yeah, that's like foam. Like little foam pieces. Little hearts, hearts, what is going on with me? The roses, the red roses. We're gonna open these up. And pop these on out of here. Like I said yesterday, you could kind of fluff these up. They do get kind of smushed in there. But we're gonna open up all six packs here. And somebody mentioned in my comments today about, um, you can steam these to, Kind of help them fluff back up. I was thinking maybe spraying them with water. I don't know. But we're going to do the best we can just by fluffing with our hands here. But we're going to open all six packs. Bring those out. And already I'm so excited. I really am. And we're just going to take our flower. We're going to add hot glue around the sides here. And we're going to... I should have put this under there. Oh, I'm going to have hot glue all over my table. And we're going to start by putting one on this side, one on this side. And we're going to go all the way around. So just some hot glue. I'm trying to move my glue down here. And we have one on each side. Just, oh, I just burned my finger. Just directly next to each other. And we're gonna go all the way around this. Just attaching our roses here. One on this side, one on this side. And again, kind of fluff along here. just like that. Okay. And we're just going to keep it moving all the way around our heart here. I need more glue already. I was running out. I don't want to get this table all glued up. <laughs> but how easy is this going to be? And you know, easy, elegant, affordable. I love every second of it. I'm getting glue on my mat here. All right, I'll fix that in a second. Okay, I had to fix that. I was getting them stuck to this blue pad here. But any, anywho, this is what we're doing. We're just going to go right along. I'm going to actually maybe start adding it to there. I don't know if that's going to help with it not sticking to the blue thing here. And we're just going to go around again, back and forth, back and forth. Heart, hearts, why didn't I call them hearts? Flowers all the way around. And we're just gonna go all the way around. Okay, <laughs> excuse me. So now we have all of our flowers all around this gorgeous heart here. Don't worry, we're gonna move it off this blue thing <clears throat> so you don't even see that. And then we're just gonna take some ribbon. And this is that uh, black ribbon that I got yesterday as well. Because I just want to keep this simple. I'm just going to use a black ribbon for it. And we're just going to cut a nice piece off here. 
And we're actually just gonna feed it through the back here. Just gonna carefully turn this over. And we're just gonna feed it through the back. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Come on. Sometimes your fingers just don't wanna cooperate. There we go. Pull it through that side, and we're gonna pull it through this side. Like that. And then we're just gonna bring it up to the top here and even it out. And I'm just gonna tie a cute little bow. And I'm not great at just tying little bows, but we're just gonna tie a bow. And this is going to just be how it hangs. I'm like already very excited, even though my hands never work <laughs> when I want them to. <laughs> We're just gonna make a cute bow here, possibly. I am the worst at this, seriously. Wrap around, there we go. And I'm gonna turn this so this part is in the front and I'm gonna hang it so you can see it. Ooh, let's turn you around. Okay guys. There it is. Actually, I think it might be a little crooked. Excuse my voice. I got a froggy, froggy voice going on today. I'm trying to, I'm the worst at this bow thing. I have really, really have to step my game up here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So despite that, we could even flip it around and just have like a regular hanging ribbon. I know I could do this. I just have to really, really figure that out. But... <laughs> Nice little black ribbon. I love the red floral heart. I think it is fantastic. And I just think it's super pretty. And it was so easy. Only takes a couple of minutes. It looks good on your white walls here. And it looks really good on darker wood. I love this. I did just turn that ribbon around because the bow is not my forte. I need to work on it. I know. And in my spare time, I will, I swear. But <laughs> I... Excuse me. I really do like this. I think this is super cute. I actually prefer it on the darker wood versus the white wall, to be very honest with you. So this might actually just go on one of my doorways here, but it only took a few minutes. It only cost around $8 and it was so easy and I love it. And I hope you guys do too. But until next time, bye now.